Hello everyone and welcome to the start of many videos this week coming your way which are going to be based around Steam Next Fest and lots of demos and trials of other games that are uh, on their way to Steam in the next well, months and years I guess. Um, and today we're trying Commandos Origins, one that uh, popped up on my list about a week or two ago but honestly I've been ill for the last week or two and I just haven't really been able to make almost any content whatsoever. So... Um, Last Sunday, we tried 63 Days, which is like a more modern reimagining, if you like, of this genre. But Commandos has kind of always been the yardstick to which all other games in this genre are measured. Even though the games themselves, Commandos, have never always been, uh, you know, the most well-received, the most, you know, greatly reviewed games of all time. They have kind of built up a bit of a cult following. They've got a very good reputation among players and they are very well cherished and well loved from you know the late 90s when they started to release so yeah we've got i think there's five commandos games um there was one in 98 um one in 99 then you had commandos two men of kaiji a destination berlin i think there was one called strike force i think i think there was five in total before the two remasters and now this one that's due out this year so we're going to give it a go um yeah not sure what's uh, occurring but we're gonna jump straight in now and see what's what and straight away my uh, fps is um a little on the low side doesn't need to be mental in a game like this i guess but it'd be nice to have a smooth experience i better get going before command sends someone to check on me here we go right so we've got this guy, the Green Beret there, so he is our resident brawler known for his explosive temper. This commander can climb up certain natural wall formations, he can climb between telephone poles and traverse over wires, kick open certain doors, carry bodies, and can carry explosive barrels. Okay, and we have to destroy the radar and don't trigger the alarm. So, what are we? We are, yeah, so right mouse button is the draw thing, select, I guess we just do it by that. And it's a, it's a left mouse button. Annoyingly, WASD is not camera. It's arrow keys. And we are... If we hold alt down, we can rotate. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Right, let's make our way uh, up here then. What are you doing? Now, some of the buttons are akin to 63 days. Which I'll probably just sort of buttons that are the same for everybody. I mean, this is going to mean prone, isn't it? Spaces go down. Good. Okay, so again, very, very similar. So this cone here, these lines here you can see, which means they can't see me. Somehow, he can't see me, despite the fact he's looking straight down the road. Apparently, he can only see what's about 15 feet in front of him clear. Anybody on their, uh, on their belly will remain undetected for anything beyond about 15 feet. Not the smartest guy, right? You're looking that way. You're looking down. Might even be able to stand up here. We can indeed. Can we... Didn't realise you were there, I'll be honest. Or you. Uh, right. Shim him. How much can we zoom in? We can zoom in quite the way. Hide bodies. Uh, okay, it's so a control. Very, very similar controls to 63 days. So we hit him in the bush. Uh, sound decoy. The whatever that thing is there uh, can be cycled by clicking the arrows in the uh, above the ability. Oh, okay. So that's. Okay, so let's maybe place it down. Uh, I'm assuming we've got to use it somehow against this guy. How the hell are we going to... Uh, I mean, it's got to be the radio, isn't it? Otherwise, it wouldn't have given it to me. It's got a very... Okay, it's got a very wide range of... Oh, there's a bush there. Okay. So if we place it there... And then if we go and hide ourselves... In there... Apparently, even in 1944, whenever this is set, 19, sometime between 1939 and 1945, apparently these radios were remote-controlled. 
Was that a thing? Get him. Right, turn that off. Oh. Give me the radio back. Pick him up and whack him in there. Lovely. Breezing through it. Okay. Uh, right, what we got down here? We got any more people? There's four down there. Are any of them moving? Are any of them likely to come up this way? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, there's a gun there. Go and grab the gun. Click the ability button to select the cult. The targeting noise ranges will be shown automatically. Uh, right, so white square then is obviously our range. Blue cone is who's going to hear it when we fire it. Let's get into this bush quickly. I mean, there's a barrel very strategically placed. I'm presuming we must use such a thing. And somehow, despite the fact that, again, this guy down here is what? 50 meters away, if that? He is not about he is not going to hear the explosion. Uh, aim with the mouse press left button to shoot enemies and non human targets. Press right control to shoot any location. Boom. Oh, apparently, uh, can we loot the people? Doesn't look like we can. Under the tree. Press tab to highlight enemy commandos, hiding spots, and interactive objects. Okay, there is a shovel there. What does what does he have? He's got a med kit, apparently. Um I mean, we could, in theory we could shoot it, shoot either of them. We'll wait until these guys clear off. I don't really see how we're going to kill both of these guys. Radio. Oh, the radio will get them. If I put the radio there. And then we turn it on. Is that going to get both? It is going to get both of them. They're both going to come and investigate. Okay, I was expecting one hit kills, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they both fired back at me, did they not? Anyway, he's got a. Uh... Right, so loot will just drop. Okay, fine. Can we pick up the. Uh... Why can't I pick up this loot? Jesus Christ, okay. Right, we'll use the uh, first aid kit on yourself. And get, so you have to hold control to pick up that stuff as well, fine. Okay, right, moving on. A shovel. See, sometimes you can just click left mouse button and pick stuff off of the ground. Sometimes you have to hold control to do it. Which is kind of odd. Anyway, the greenberry can hide under areas with loose dirt when that is available. Really? Oh, we can go the full snake in the grass. Or snake in the dirt in this case. Okay. So I'm assuming as they go round, we are going to go and... 
pop ourselves in here. Yes, look. I never know we were there. Is his head actually popping out the top? I think his head is actually sticking out the top of that. And they're going to walk straight past him. He's even looking at me. Do you see him? He looks straight at me. Bollocks. Oh, we're back here again. Should we just, uh, should we just take these guys out? Let's wait for... Uh, in fact, I don't think those guys the other side are actually even going to hear, are they? We'll wait for them to walk away nonetheless. Why is he... Why did he alert, of all people? Right, bodies are out of the way, just about. So it's basically the same thing, it's just we've got to let them get a little bit further past this time. Right, let them come back down. I must admit, though, first impressions are that, uh, I mean, it's okay, it's good. Um, FPS is not amazing. I haven't actually looked at the graphic settings, I'll be brutally honest, but... Quick. Just. That was very close. Um, yeah, FPS is not amazing, but it's okay at the moment. It's running at about 50. Not brilliant. Um, so it probably does need a bit of optimising, but yeah, on the whole, it's not bad. We are, of course, only really playing the tutorial, so we're only getting a very small snippet of the game. Graphically, it's not bad at all. Not going to win any uh, awards for graphic design, etc., but it's okay. It's okay. Would I, would I buy it off the basis of this? Not so sure so far. I might, might wait and see reviews, but... You know, War Mongrels and 63 Days from, I think it's Destructive Creations is the name of the company, with both really cool games. So Commandos has not got it its own, all its own way now. And the graphics on the water there as he splashed in didn't look brilliant. But we have a new person, we have a Marine, a navigator of the seas in his own haunting past. Able to swim in deep waters, can dive under certain obstacles while swimming, and can carry bodies over shoulders, so he can carry bodies too. Right, so we're obviously we're doing some stuff with him first, while our man there uh, hides in a tent. Aim with the mouse while using that selective, and we can target an enemy. Will it not? Uh... So on, I keep referring back to 63 days here, I know I shouldn't, but on 63 days, we had a mechanic where if you did a throwing knife, um, he would, was it what? Can I? Thank you. Um, when you threw the throwing knife into somebody, it would cause them to scream, and they would therefore alert people to their presence and also it doesn't we can pick up any of their guns another thing that you could do in 63 days so i know you shouldn't always draw comparisons but it's uh, sometimes it's difficult to do so or not to do so um i mean i'm breezing through this because largely i'm i feel like i am playing a very very similar game with very very similar mechanics same buttons Neither of which are that different from each other, I'll be honest. So far, anyway. What took you so long? I don't know. Maybe all those guards you had trouble getting past. I'd have found another way around. What are you telling me what to do? 
Uh, oh, he can't carry that grenade. Okay. So they've stopped now. They're now over there, so they're not, they're not going to come around and be a problem. I'm not sure I like the, some of the control controls on this. The way you have to rotate the camera with uh, with alt is a bit rubbish. Uh, right, let's have a look over here. So we got two, three guys in there. Oh, look at this guy, these guys here. Oh, look at this perfect arc they've created. Um, we've got a guy here who's ripe for the killing. He's walked away. We've got two guys here next to a suspiciously large, what's that, like chest or something that is obviously going to be pushed onto the top of their heads. So I think this guy can be killed if we can move him away and get him away quickly. Yeah, that's a job for the Marine, you know. Wait for them to finish talking, and I think we can take him out. And then we'll bring him over here. I wonder if that guy's going to say anything. I wonder if he's going to notice the little puddle of... Okay, he won't notice the puddle of blood because it's not there anymore. And get him as well. Right. You get in there. You can come around here. Again, annoying button controls here. My hand, so my hand at the moment is hovering over the, the four arrow keys. I have to use alt with my left finger to move the camera. And if I want to switch between the people, I have to move my hand all the way over to the other side to press one and three. Using one and three on the number pad doesn't work. Right. No, oh, I did it. Did that a bit too late. Okay, that's now a problem. Bit of him the old fashioned way. Okay, right, I nearly cocked that up anyway. Right, let's get you over there. So now we've got to work out how we're going to do these guys because they've created this perfect little arc for themselves. Now, there's a barrel there, and it does say that we can carry explosive barrels, but I'm not entirely sure what we can do with an explosive barrel that's going to be worthwhile because we're going to end up killing all of them. If those guys don't move over there, unless there's anything in there, there's something in there. What's that? Is that that's another grenade, isn't it? Anything else in here? Oh, there's another guy asleep in there, actually. There's actually four guys in there. Um, somebody running around over here. I can hear him. This guy, what's he, what's he legging it about for? Giving news to his commanding officer. Um, we have got a, there's a bottle over there as well. Um, I wonder if we can get this guy to come over this way. Okay, nice. If I put that there... Turn that on. And then we're going to use this guy... To, uh, to deal with him. Right, 
You move the body out of the way. Okay, so now it's just this guy. Because I think if that guy doesn't move, which it doesn't look like it, we can just walk around here. I think it's the same thing now, isn't it? We just use the radio, just track him over here. And then wait for our time to strike. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. I think we can just walk around here, you know. How is that? <laughs> That's the only thing about these games. I mean, I know they have to make it like this because otherwise it would be next to impossible if it really was about, you know, peripheral vision and everything else. But the fact that he can't see two blokes just walk around here, make noise, go through the water, is uh, <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? But we uh, we move we move on. Right, what are you guys doing? So you can only see there. I think we can go over there, you know? Let's go, let's, can we crawl all the way into that bush? We can indeed. There we go. Uh, right. What's that? Command mode. Now, is there a... I wonder if it is that command mode, actually. Is this like the planning mode? So we're going to throw a stone that way. I don't think we need command mode for this, actually. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that anyway. Is he going to throw the stone? Throw the stone over there. You throw... Okay, that's not worked. Yeah, that's not worked at all. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we do need command mode then. What about... We do that. Okay. No, I want you to do that guy, and then you are going to get that guy. In theory, that should work. There we go. Look at that. Coordination. I suppose we can pick up the, uh, the med kit again. Right, now we're at the radar. I've, I haven't used my grenade at any point throughout this, so I'm assuming we can use our grenade. There's an explosive barrel over there. We're going to have to literally kill everyone to get it, though. The target's close. question is, how are we supposed to blow that thing up? It, there must be something we can use. Is a, is a grenade... Because it tried to get me to use the grenade earlier, but I haven't used it. So we do still have it. Can we reach? Should we try it? I mean, though, there's there's what look like some kind of gas canisters there. Let's give it a try. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Any of those guards just to the left that we passed a moment ago going to notice that? What about the guards that were down there? <laughs> well, there we go. Mission accomplished. We have, uh, oh, we completed the demo. That's it. That is all she wrote. Uh, in the full game, you'll be able to deploy up to six different commandos over 14 theatres of operation, spanning from the barren Arctic to the African desert. Well, there we go. So that is a very quick look at Commando's Origins. Um, I mean, we've only played 25 minutes. So it's very difficult to really make a solid report back on 25 minutes worth of gameplay, especially when that was clearly just a training mission that uh, that we played um i mean there's a, there's a few letdowns i think the ui and control system is a bit rubbish i think that needs some tweaking i don't like where 
<clears throat> so, for example, and again, I know I'm drawing comparisons a lot to 63 Days, but it does work an awful lot better in that game than it does this. The... Uh, the player select or the commando select is on the F1, F2 keys. The abilities are along the number one through eight or whatever along the top bar. And then W, A, S and D is the camera. And because everything, your hand just doesn't need to move anywhere on the keyboard to access pretty much all of those buttons. Whereas on this, your hand has to go from one side of the keyboard to the other to be able to select stuff. And in a game where shortcuts... Keyboard shortcuts are going to help you. They are going to improve your ability to complete objectives and, and get yourself out of tricky situations. That is really important. So I do think they need to look at that. Graphically, needs some polish. There's a few bits of foliage. The water doesn't look great. So I wouldn't say it's really um, knocking any, uh, you know, breaking any barriers in terms of graphics. Voice acting is, is all right. Nothing, again, to write home about. So at the moment, I would say it's okay, but it's certainly not, you know, breaking the mold. 63 Days and War Mongrels are brilliant games that, at the moment, from what I can see, do everything that this game does um, and maybe do it slightly better. Graphically, 63 Days and War Mongrels look fantastic. Um, so, yeah, this one's going to be interesting to see how it's received. I don't know if there is a... Um, let me just check if there is a release date on this yet. Uh, hold the line, call up. Um, it's just 2024 at the moment, so yeah, we don't actually know when the release date is at the moment, but um, yeah, be interested to see what it, what it does when it comes out. So hopefully it's received well, hopefully they are, are working on a few bits, and yeah, we'll, we'll take a butcher's edit when it comes out, hopefully at some point this year, but of course we are halfway through October now, we've only got a month and a half, oh, sorry, two and a half months, sorry, before the 2024 is out. So there we go, thank you very much, let me know what you think down in the comments below, have you tried the demo, have you played other Commandos games, you know, are you looking forward to this, let me know in the comments down below, make sure you hit the like, make sure you hit the uh, subscription button, make sure you ring the notification bell, and we'll see you all in the next one.